Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Minister Ney. I stop by to drop this word to encourage you, my brothers and sisters today. I stop by to just share as I was just talking to God, talking to my father, yes. I was just talking to him and I was just telling him about some things you know, just sharing and, and, and talking to him. And as I began to talk to him, because see, some of us are high school dropout. Some of us didn't go to Harvard. Some of us didn't go to Yale. Some of us didn't go to um, to UB, the College of the Bahamas. Some of us didn't go to um, Bahamas Technical Vocational, you know, Institute. Some of us, you know, only went fast high school. Some of us drop out of high school. And I learned that because of that, we have um, people that come in our lives, people that come our way and they, they try to make you feel like you are not worthy, you are not qualified, you are not capable. But I stop by to share with you today that as long as Jesus Christ is in your heart, you are qualified, you are quite qualified. As I was talking, um, my son desire post in school, and he desires a post and I realized for the past year he has been desiring this post. He has been desiring this post. So and as he spoke about the post that he desired to be, I realized that hey, my son truly wants this post. So I went on into the word and I say, God, I began to read Deuteronomy twenty eight. And I read um from verses one through verse 13 and it says and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail thou shall be above only and thou shall not be beneath if thou if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God which I command thee this day to observe and to do them and I said to my son, you have to make sure God is first. You have to make sure seek the will of God. Seek the face of God. Seek God. The Bible told us in Matthew 6 and 33, we must seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto us. Guys, I jump on here just to encourage with this word today. Because sometimes we have to understand that, hey, because we didn't graduate, high school or we didn't go to college people sometimes use that to like make us feel intimidated pull us down and make us feel like we are not qualified even to speak the word of God or to carry the word of God but I come to encourage you my brother my sister my friend wherever you are in this world as long as you abide in him and his words abide in you as John 15 and 7 says you have access you can ask what you want what you wish and it shall be be done in Jesus name and so as I was reading the scripture came to me and in, 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 um, in Matthew not Matthew but I'm going to read Matthew Matthew 7 and verse 15 it says beware of false prophet which come to you in sheep clothing but inwardly they are ravering wolves ye shall know them by their fruits do men gather grapes of thorn or fig or thistle even so every good tree bring it forth good fruit but a corrupt tree bring it forth evil fruit and I say this to say um, to you also, my brothers and sisters, I'm not straying. I just want to point out some things to you. There are times the prophet and the prophetess and the man of God and the woman of God, they come to you and they prophesy into you and they telling you, um, um, the Lord say this and the Lord say that and the Lord say the next. You know within yourself, you fornicating, you know you shacking up, you know you living an adulterous life, you know you lying, you know you cheating, you know you backbiting, you know your, your life 
life is not in line with with what they are what 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 is being prophesied but because it's good oh you could get a house you could get a car oh i see a promotion oh i see this i see that. all these blessing they speaking over you but they yet to say to you my brother my sister my friend in order for these blessings to be levied upon you in order for you to access these blessings you have to have a relationship with god you have to accept jesus christ as your lord and personal savior they do not tell you the qualification that you need in order to receive this abundant of prophecy of blessing that they are putting on you all they know they giving it to you so you feel like oh the prophet prophesied that god say he could do this for me and god say he could do that for me so you go on living your life the same way no relationship with god no intentions of repenting or confessing your sin you just go on living your life doing what you want to do and you waiting for these blessings to come upon you how these blessings could come when you know you living with a man how you you fornicate you committing adultery you teething on the job you lying you backbiting you slandering you doing all of this stuff but yet they come and they prophesy this to you and so when you have a conversation they say oh the prophet prophesy everything to me and everything he say to me is true everything he say to you is true but are you willing to walk away from the lifestyle in order for those words that were prophesied to come to life in you or are you going to receive the words of man when you come i say give me the word let me hear what god have to say so i could know exactly this is from the word of god because they could come to you dressed down and sheep clothing looking all good and all fancy but inwardly they levy in curses upon you because if they are real man or woman of god they will tell you before you can access any blessing your life got to be lined up i see what god is is doing in your life and what he wants to do but he say you have to first come out of that relationship you have to first repent you have to first confess your sins then these blessings will come upon you and i went into and into um 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 john 14 and 25 and 26 it says these things have i spoken unto you being yet present with you see when jesus was talking he was still present with his disciples with his apostles he was still present with with the disciples so he said these things have i spoken unto you being yet present with you he said but but the comforter which is the holy ghost who the father will send in my name in jesus name he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever i have said unto you the comforter the holy ghost the spirit of truth the holy spirit that god will send in jesus christ name that spirit of truth when that is downloaded and deposited in you it will teach you all things it will teach you what you need to know so if the man come the woman come they prophesy and you know within your spirit that he line up with the word of god you could reject it you could rebuke it you could cancel it do not accept it accept it's the word of god people come and they prophesy and they prophesy and in all they prophesy they um, oh i see that enemy try to destroy you they try to kill you but i send it back to the sender i send it back sevenfold the bible told me in matthew to love them to bless them to do good unto them he say love your enemy he say bless them that curse you and do good unto them that despitefully use you and say all manner of evil against you we go in the old testament jesus came and he said it's not it's no longer so an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth but i say this because when he came and he died and he shed his blood there were some things that he he put in place there were some things that changed the veil was rent and twine why so we could have full access to him full deliverance to him full way of going to him that he said no 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 that was moses law but i come and i change some stuff i made some amendments with some things the entire bible 
from A to Z, from Genesis to Revelation, is the word of God. But there's some things when Jesus Christ, when the Father God sent his son Jesus Christ, he amends some things. And you know more eye for eye and tooth for tooth. So we allow people to come. Oh, uh, suffer not a witch to live. Oh, I send it back to sender. No man, come on. Jesus said, love them that curse you. Love them. Do good to them that despitefully use you. Bless them that curse you. This is the word of God. And you have the comforter, the spirit of truth that would lead you into all truth. That will give you what you need in this season and in this time. I tell people, I don't care how much education and doctrine and what you have. I have the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth that would lead me into all truth. He said in, 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 in John 15 and 7, If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my father glorify that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. What kind of fruit are you bearing? What kind of fruit? What, what, what are you saying to the people? What kind of fruit are you? But I am speaking from my personal experience. Don't come bringing me no word except it's the word of God. If I need a word, a prophetic word, if I need a prophecy, I go and I pick this up. I say, speak to me, Lord. I need to know where to go, how to go. Because he said, daughter, I will navigate your path. I will navigate you. I am your compass. I will compass you. I will lay out the way that I have for you to go. I ain't no itchy air waiting for a word because I have the word right here. I just stopped by as I was encouraging myself and as I was sharing with someone today the experience that I experienced with my God and my Father. Be careful because somebody come and prophesy to you. Oh, the prophet say this. Oh, this one say this. The next one say this. How was your relationship with God? How was your walk with God? How was your talk with God? Is it in line with his word? Because these things only happen. You've been waiting 10, 15, 20 years for a prophetic word to come to pass. And you still shacking up with that man. You still fornicating. You still committing adultery. You still teething the people money off the job. Be careful, saints of God. Be careful how we receive things if it's not lined up with God. If it ain't God, I don't want it. If it ain't God, I do not come in agreement with it. I reject it. I renounce it. I cancel it. Because I only want what the word of God have for me. This is my benchmark. I pray you are blessed and you are encouraged. Seek the word of God today. Seek his face today. This is all I have to stand me and guide me. This is all I need in my life. Heaven and earth will pass away. But this word will never pass. It will stand forever. So I just stopped by my brothers and sisters. I felt that word in my spirit. Even in Luke um, Luke 24 and 49, it says, And behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. That's the Holy Spirit. That's what we need to empower us, to lead us and guide us. I say the prophet and the prophet is real. I believe in them because they are God's servants. But be careful of who coming and what they saying. And they giving you all of this prophetic word. But you know you ain't living the path. And you so happy because you get a word and they didn't tell you you need to repent. They didn't tell you you need a relationship with God. They didn't tell you you need to seek God. You need to put away some things out of your life in order for this prophetic word to come to fruition, to manifest itself. Seek God, my sisters and brothers. Trust in the word of God. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, let us all acknowledge him. All I have is God and all I have is his word. I am not a perfect person. I am a person that's striving and seeking God, seeking the will of God for my life, seeking his way. So I pray you are blessed. I pray you encourage. Notice I come on here just to encourage. I come looking for show. I come looking for form or fashion. I come, you see how I come? Just like this. 
just to break the word, just to encourage you today. Because sometimes you feel the word in your belly. You ain't got time to go put on no makeup. You ain't got time to go put on no, you know, you, you just want to share it as, as it flowing. And that's me. So as it flowing, as I feel it in my belly and my spirit, I just want to share it with you, my brothers and sisters. Be blessed, be encouraged. I love you and God love you. And like I say, seek the word of God for yourself. If you're looking for a word, a prophetic word, grab the word of God. Because this thing can stare you wrong, you know. And when somebody come to you, they come into line up with what they say. And you would know, hey, that's confirmation. Because they lining up with God and tell me in this word. God bless you. I love you. Be encouraged. This is Minister Nay. Blessings to you, my brothers and sisters.